Hello everybody, welcome back to LK Cubing, and today we're gonna make a review for the Dian Tengen V2M. So, if you didn't know already, Dian released the Tengen V1 uh, one or three, two years ago, and it wasn't very popular, but it was very revolutionary as it has magnets, and it's Dian's first clip to have magnets. But now they've come up with the Dian Tengen V2M, which is more modern. As you can see, it has adjustable magnets and all those fancy stuff in it, but we're gonna get into that later. First, let's talk about the turning feel. So, the general feel of this tube is very smooth and very quiet. The reason of its smoothness and quietness may be because of the wavy design of the pieces, and also, it's very fast, and I quite like the corner stock and the edge design, which is similar to the V1, and the Tengen series of cubes has a very unique feeling because of that long corner stock and those wavy patterns which makes it very smooth, fast and very quiet. Some people don't like smooth and fast cubes, some people like crunchy cubes more like the Vogue and if you like crunchy cubes then this cube is probably not for you because it's extremely smooth and quiet. It's much quieter than the V1, and we can do a comparison, so here's the V1, here's the V2. So for corner cutting, it's very good. So, actually it just corner cuts everywhere. Everywhere we put it, we can do it. Literally everywhere, and it doesn't take much force, and I'm really satisfied, satisfied with this. The V1 can do this also, but you need more force, but it's just effortless on the V2. Another thing that's great about this cube is the red is not, no longer that dark because I don't like dark red, and so this brighter red suits my liking. I tend to like fast cubes, and this cube is just very fast, so I won't tire out in practicing. And if you like fast cubes also, then this cube you should get it. But the most important part that is different from the V1 and other cubes is that the V2 offers adjustable magnets and many different spring settings. So without further ado, let's get into it. Also this cube comes drenched in lube. Uh, I know some people will want to ask that so I'm just gonna say it right now. When adjusting the magnets, you don't need to take the edge piece out. But for demonstration, I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna do that. So as you can see right here, there's one, two, and three. One is the strongest setting, two is medium, and three is light. All you've got to do is take that this screwdriver. So it has a flat head like this. And then push it right here and turn. You can turn it to the setting you want. So for example, Right now, I've got to 3, and it, the default is 2, and I prefer strong magnets, so I'm just going to put all of them to 1, like that. So yeah, you just turn this thing. It's very easy. And then after that, you just put it, the piece back in, or if you, you can just turn the layer 45 degrees and do that, and it'll be okay as well. For small adjustments, you can just turn the middle screw with a screwdriver and it'll be okay. For big adjustments, you can use this tool to do it. So first you can turn a small nut. And the small nut small nut controls the center piece travel con center piece travel distance. So if you don't know what's that, it's just some fancy term for some the tensions. So to adjust the centerpiece travel distance, the larger the number, uh, sorry, the larger the number, the looser it is. So, if you want it to be looser, then make the number to the lar to be larger. If you want it to be tighter, then the number should be smaller. So here you can see we have 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1.0, and 1.2. So right now the cube is preset um to 0 0.6. So I personally think that's fine. So you can just if you want to 
I just sit here and just use the small side of this nut and turn it. It's just that easy. Turn it until it fits with this tip of the nail screw that points onto this point. And then the larger nut, so there's a small nut up there and a larger nut down there. So for the larger nut, it controls the tensions and the spring elasticity. So the larger number, the stronger the spring elasticity. So zero, there's zero, 0 0.5, 1.0, and 1.5. So again, you can set to any tension you want. Just turn this thing until the screw points to that number, and you're done. So as you can see, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of settings, even more than organic access, because there's three types of things that you can adjust. So I'm pretty satisfied with the adjustment settings and there's just so many settings you, you can explore that you can't finish exploring them in just like one hour or so. So after we've got all of that away, I need to answer one final question. So should you get the Tangent V2M? I'd say definitely. This cube is not very expensive, it's just a, it's just a medium ranged price cube. There's so many customization settings, even more than the access, and the performance is really, really good. Like if you corner cut every, any, every, sorry, sorry, everywhere, and it turns very smooth, fast, and quiet, and I think it's definitely worth it price, worth its price. So, if you're planning to get a medium priced cube, and you really want to get serious about cubing, then I would recommend this cube instead of something expensive like a access. And that's it for this video, if I helped you and made you learn more things about this cube, definitely go subscribe or like this video. If you have any questions, any questions about this cube, you can ask in the comments and I'm sure I'm going to answer you. So that's it for this video, thanks for watching and goodbye.